Hi everybody, welcome to this video, which is probably one of the most important we've ever made on the channel because it concerns changes to our crowdfunding campaign. And if you're concerned about that because you're already subscribed, I just want to say from the beginning of this video that we are not making any changes at all retrospectively. So if you're currently on one of our subscription plans and you're happy with it, you get to keep it as long as you stay subscribed. However, if you unsubscribe when you come back, the only thing we're going to have is going to be the new ones that I'm going to talk about in this video. So that said, let's actually have a look at what the changes are. So first up, here's our crowdfunding campaign. You'll notice the structure of it is that we've got a total that we're trying to reach, which is currently at two and a half thousand dollars. That is way too low for what we're actually doing at the moment and what we want to do in the future. So we're going to increase that to sixty thousand dollars US a month, which is a pretty huge hike which I'll talk about why that hike is so huge in a minute. First of all, how are we gonna get there? So here on the screen are basically what we're proposing are gonna be the new subscription tiers. Now this may change a little bit um, before they actually come out. We'll let you know if there are any further changes and they may change over time after as well because we wanna find the right balance between the value you get and the value we get because we wanna be able to fund it appropriately but also give you guys a good deal and good value from the software as well. So that's kind of where we're coming from with what we're doing. We're gonna be changing pricing. That's what's happening. Okay, so what are we doing in return? So we are adding a whole bunch of new features which have been asked for for quite a while. So frame splitting for more efficient animation renderers. We've already got a prototype for that. It just needs to be tested properly. And it's gonna be coming to our 10, 20 and $50 subscribers on the current campaign first because they have the exclusive content perk, which is pretty much what that means to get exclusive access to anything new first. Then we're working on faster UI performance. That's another bug that people have been reporting where our add-on can cause Blender to slow down significantly. We've already got another solution ready. That's also been delivered to our 10, 20 and $50 subscribers through our Slack channel. So we're already doing some of this, but there are some pretty big upgrades coming from the Crest program which you might have heard a little bit about. That involves completely overhauling the entire system and a new add-on and a new program that runs as a background service, which I'm not gonna go into too much in the technical details, but just know it's gonna solve a whole bunch of other issues. It's also gonna allow you to remotely access your hardware from anywhere in the world. So you could go to a cafe, a beach, you could go on holiday and you could still, as long as your computers are switched on and attached to the internet, use them from anywhere. It's also gonna allow you to share your hardware with others or pool hardware together. So if a few of you want to collaborate on, let's just say a short animation, then you can pool all your resources into one project. And those computers can be again anywhere in the world. So that will be on a new compute sharing platform hosted on our website. We're also gonna make changes to our cloud rendering service and improve it. So although usually the revenue from the cloud rendering service goes into the development of that service, we're gonna overlap it a bit because some of the new features in Cress are actually gonna be used in the cloud rendering system anyway. But what it's gonna mean is the cloud rendering system will actually get a whole lot more useful. For one, you'll be able to try it for free. You'll be able to upload um, a project to the cloud without paying anything. And of course, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of trial credit so that you can actually try it out and see if it's fit for purpose um, before you have to pay anything. We're also gonna make it incredibly more efficient to upload. There'll only be one copy of the blend file required to be uploaded to our cloud service now, whereas before it was one copy per computer that you actually rented from us virtually. Also, we're going to work on persistent storage for people who are on a subscription plan, which means that if you want to use a cloud service, but then you have to take a break or do something else for a while, when you come back, you won't have to re-upload everything. So now I wanna talk about why we're making these changes, because they are obviously quite significant. So the main reason is team. So to give you an idea, since about 2019, we had this crowdfunding campaign trying to reach two and a half thousand dollars. And that was intended to maintain the add-on as it was back in 2019 slash 2020. Our spare time, we were happy to devote to developing new features and making things better because we love this. This is what we do. It's something we're passionate about and our ideal dream in the, in the world would just be able to get up every morning and do this as our job. Unfortunately, we found that most of the development funds we had were going towards changes caused by Blender developing so quickly and also by the fact that we had a lot of people downloading the add-on and asking for support. And so we found that any spare time we had was getting drawn into solving problems, answering emails and just repackaging the add-on or fixing it because Blender had made a change. 
Now, we want to have something that's sustainable. And for it to be sustainable, we need our spare time to be our spare time. And we want to deliver all the features that we're talking about because we're supremely passionate about actually giving you guys these features because we can't wait to see what you'll be able to do when you've got them. Now, we actually did try another way of funding all of what we've just talked about, and that was through Epic Games Mega Grant program. So we applied last year for a grant. We put together a plan we thought was pretty good and we submitted it to Epic Games. And we asked you guys to send us letters of support, which was supremely helpful. And thank you to every single one of you who did that. Sadly, Epic Games decided to decline uh, our grant request, so we were left with quite a big shortfall, and that was one of the major factors that we decided to turn around and change our crowdfunding campaign, because we were hoping that we would have a cash injection from the grant that would help us actually build all of this. Now that didn't happen, so we turned to the people who've already been supporting us, which is you guys. Really what we're about here is being sustainable, and we're being honest and looking at the project and looking at what we think we need, and this is what we think we need in order to be sustainable, which is to have enough people to support the system and the features that we're talking about. So now I wanna talk about when these changes will actually come into effect. And just to be clear again, we are not retrospectively applying them to anyone who's currently subscribed. And if you stay subscribed, you get to keep what you've got. So there's a date at the bottom of the screen. What's gonna happen is after that date, our website's gonna change and you'll only have access to the subscription options which are shown on the screen. And they'll be the new ones. So if you want to have the current subscription plans, then you need to make sure you're subscribed right now before that date, which I just showed you. An important note for any of you guys who are on a PayPal yearly subscription, you'll have to manually renew that yourself because it doesn't auto renew. So if you want to stay on the current plan that you've got, you can subscribe again, yearly or monthly, whatever you prefer. All you have to do is make sure that you get to our website before this date and that's going to apply for another year. So you may want to decide whether you actually want to do it monthly instead because we're only going to have the new subscriptions from that point on. So you guys can do another year at the current plan or you can switch to a monthly and keep it for as long as you stay subscribed. So that wraps up the video guys. Thanks so much for watching all to the end. And if you have any questions or concerns, which you can imagine you might do, you can contact us either on our Slack channel if you're on the $10, $20, or $50 subscription plans. If you're not, then you can get hold of us at info at crowdrender.com.au. And please do take up that offer if you've got any questions at all. We'd be so happy to talk to you. All right, guys. Thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.